So the crypto market has crashed and I am currently stuck in the middle of Dubai where roads are now rivers. There's been the biggest flood they've basically ever had. We just got kicked out of our taxi. We've been trying to get to Token 2049 for about two and a half hours now. And we just gave up and we're walking down the street. So hopefully we make it soon. But I wanted to make a video around the crypto market crash and what I think you guys should be doing or whether or not you should even be worrying about it. Now, Bitcoin is down, what, like 17% right now. And yes, altcoins are down quite significantly. Yesterday, very briefly, we lost the $60,000 region. And that means that there is quite a lot of bearish mentality out there. A lot of uh, traders see that loss as a sign of very bearish momentum. And yes, if you are a short term trader right now, we may actually see more bearish action. But all I can say to you guys is what I feel in this market and what I'm thinking. I've been in the market since 2017. I was in my first bull market in that 2017 one. And these sorts of moves scared the life out of me. I couldn't sleep. I literally woke up every couple of hours, even if there was good stuff happening. I wake up every couple of hours. I was checking my portfolio and it was very worrying. Right now we drop 17 percent and I sleep like a baby. It's all part of it. And the only way that you can get to this is just with time in the market. This 17 percent correction, probably 20 to 30 percent correction uh, in my overall portfolio from the top is nothing. We can have so much more than this. I would have two pieces of non-financial advice for you guys and for anyone who's my friend in this space, which you guys I consider is if you cannot take the volatility that we had in 2021, which was a 54% drop, then you probably should start getting out of the market because we may drop way more. Now, if I'm talking to someone who I trust is going to hold and they are going to make it, I would say just do the same as me. Use this as a gift. This is an opportunity, right? If today Bitcoin's price actually bounced from 59 to I think 62 or 63 as we speak, use that as an opportunity. Sorry, I have to go back because there's another river forming here. We have to jump over here. But use this as an opportunity, right? The market may not give you another opportunity. And yes, maybe today Bitcoin is 63,000. Maybe that is the bottom here and we bounce from there. Or maybe tomorrow it's 53,000. Maybe the next day it's 43,000. Maybe from that 70,000$ 70, $70, region, we do get a 50% correction. So maybe Bitcoin's bottom is 35,000. Maybe that is the case. That is possible. And when that happens, buy the goddamn dip and think of it as the opportunity that it is. That's the best advice that I can give myself and to anyone who's watching who is doing the following steps. They're investing with money they can afford to lose and they can stand time in the market, right? When I was in my first bull run in 2017, the market went so high. I couldn't believe the amount of money that I was seeing in my portfolio. I never sold a penny, nothing at all. And then the price went down. So I made a mistake there. I didn't take any profits. That's why I always take profits now and I always preach about taking profits now. But irrespective of taking profits, what did I do next? I just held. I believed in the conviction that I had. I believed in the research that I had and I just held. That bear market was horrible. I went lower than my initial investment and then I bought more. There was just one day I remember where I was sitting, sitting on a bench and I saw Cardano and I was like, oh, do you know what? Fuck it. I'll just buy more Cardano. I'm here now. I'm in the pits. I'm going to hold anyway. So let me add to it. And you know, I bought way, way more Cardano than I had before. And then I just held it again. Look at this river. Look at that. This is in Dubai guys. This is actual Dubai. Absolutely wild. But I bought more and I just held and I didn't know what was going to come next. And what came next was a 2021 bull run. Then we had another crash. We went into the bear market and I bought more. And now we are in the 20, what are we in 2024 bull run, right? Now we can only either hold buy the dip or panic sell. One of those options is the right thing to do. And I'm afraid I cannot tell you which one's the right thing to do, but I can tell you what I'm doing. I'm holding and I'm buying more. So I think that the current market volatility downwards is an opportunity. If you're a short term trader, expect us to have volatility and probably your lungs are going to get liquidated or you're going to get stopped out. Probably. But 
fast forward from now to six months from now, I would say Bitcoin is, in my opinion, more likely to be above 100K than below where we sit today. That's what I think, and I'm t open to being completely wrong because no one bloody knows what's gonna happen next. All we can do is believe that we're in a market that is new and so exciting because we have the opportunity to make life-changing gains from buying random magical internet money. <laughs> and like, I don't want anyone to think that I'm like preaching. I just wanted to make this video to talk about the crash because I know how scared I was when the market was crashing. And I wanna convey how relaxed we are now. The whole of Dubai is flooding. We're walking down. I've lost more money than I could have even fathomed five years ago in the last 24 hours or in the last 48 hours. But it doesn't matter to me because I see where we're going to go because I've been in this situation 10 times yeah. since the start and always in those 10 times, always the right thing to do was buy the dip. Yeah, yeah. So from my experience, always the right thing to do is to buy the dip. Even in the last bull market that ended, I bought Bitcoin. The first time I started reinvesting into Bitcoin was at $40,000. I remember I was in America and I was, on, I was seeing a... It was a sightseeing tour and I accidentally got on a sightseeing tour to go and see uh, the Hollywood, what are they, like the Hollywood homes? Yeah. I thought I was going on a normal tour around uh, LA, but I actually was on a nerdy, like, <laughs> like you know, like celebrity hunter yeah. trip. And they were like, this is where Justin Timberlake lived and all the girls in the back were like, yeah! And then this is like different things. But I was on that bus and I remember I bought at $40,000 and it continued to drop. Yeah. Then Russia and Ukraine situation happened, it continued to drop, it went to 15K. All I did was buy more. So even buying in that in the end of the last bull market right now was beneficial. So from my experience, that's the only thing that I can do. I can hold and buy more. From my experience, in 2016, I refused to get in because I didn't think it was actually a viable asset. And when I did enter in 2017, I entered in the bear market like an idiot. So do not make the same mistake because I did not DCA. I stopped. I thought it was all going to die. It hit 3,300. I thought it was over. And that's not what happened. It started coming back. And that's when I noticed this is an opportunity. And I started DCAing and adding and adding. And that was probably the best decision I have ever freaking made. And the reason was you want to think what could happen in five years with this asset? What could happen in 10 years with the asset? That's where your buying power yeah. should be coming from. Not, oh, what's happening today? What's the mac micro movement? You need the macro scale movement. You need to pull out of the chart and look at the month, look at the week, and look at the day. Don't look at the five minute, don't look at the 10 minute, and don't look at the fucking 20 minute. And remember, the people who bought at 15K, the people who bought at 25K, yep. and the people who bought at 35K, when we were sitting at 72K, do you think any of them were like, oh, I should have just bought more at 15K? No! They should have, they will be thinking I should have bought more, but they would have been damn thankful that they bought at any of those numbers. Correct. Right? And now today we have another opportunity to buy in the low 60s. Cool. Great. Maybe it goes down to 30 tomorrow, but then you know what to do. Every other time in crypto's history, buying the dip was the right thing to do. I'm not talking about random meme coins right now. Let me be clear. I'm talking about projects I genuinely think have the ability to change the world. Bitcoin is included, Ethereum is included, a number of altcoins are included. Yep. You can check my videos about my portfolio or you can come and join my Patreon if you want, right? To see my full portfolio, it's private. You can see all of it though from the Patreon, which is linked down there, but you don't have to do that. I didn't make that video to plug anything today. If you wanna see my private, you can, but what I'm doing is I'm just telling you my thoughts from someone who's been around, what is it, seven years now, yeah. which, in any other market is nothing, but in a crypto market, it's literally an eternity. Yeah. <laughs> now, me and Mo, we've built businesses around this whole thing. Our whole lives is crypto, and crypto has given us the opportunity to build all of these businesses. And there's so much volatility in every market, but you guys have chosen to be in this market. So hopefully, we bounce from here, and 100K is the next one on the step. And hopefully we're gonna make it to this conference because oh i didn't really want to walk today it's but been hell. we're getting our steps in thank you guys for stopping by if you have any questions for mo we actually run a company called smb which is here strategize my business this is one of the ventures that we've decided to do in this bull market we want to find both companies that want uh, or people that want to sell their companies and then people who want to buy them. For example, I'm a buyer of companies because I want to diversify my portfolio. But you might be one, you might be someone who wants to sell part of your business because you want to grow it and you've reached the ceiling. And this is exactly what this business does. 
So if you want to, head to the description. You can send us an email. You can fill out the form if it's something you're interested in, whether you want to buy a company or sell a company. And hopefully you can talk directly to us and we can sort something out. So it's an exciting time. It's an exciting time. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Or so you can check out Mo's channel. It's down there in the description. Crypto Moses, nice to meet you. Yeah. He's a genius. I don't a, think so. It's a small channel, but one of the biggest alphas out there is finding small channels. So he's five full small channels. He's got nothing to gain from making these videos. He does it because he loves it. So And I love crypto. Yeah, yeah. And I love finding hundred X's. I love chasing hundred X's is the best way, right? Yeah, yeah. That's the fun in the game. And you too could be walking down the street in Dubai in the blistering heat one day. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll check you guys out in a bit. Peace.